The two people, including the owner of a daycare, are now facing federal charges after three young kids were exposed to fentanyl. Two of the kids luckily were revived with Narcan, but tragically, a one-year-old little boy did not survive. This is not only a law enforcement crisis, but it's a public health crisis. You know, fentanyl, um, a tiny amount, um, almost imperceptible to the eye, can kill an adult. And so imagine what it can do to the body of a little baby, right? That's what we're seeing right now. Well, both the daycare owner and her husband's cousin now face up to 20 years to life after prosecutors say they ran a fentanyl distribution business out of this daycare center. Sadly, this is not the first time something like this has happened in New York City. Mary Murphy with our station there has the latest. A daycare, though, is completely outrageous. The Federal Drug Enforcement Administration now joining forces with the NYPD after four children overdosed at Divino Nino Daycare. Toddler Nicholas Dominici could not be saved with Narcan. Why were there drugs in the daycare? Court papers revealed a kilo of suspected fentanyl was found in the daycare's hallway closet. A kilo of fentanyl in its purest form can kill up to 500,000 people. Sadly, it was not the first time small Bronx children have been put at risk in daycare. Ten years ago this month, the owners of Fun World on Rosedale Avenue were busted for storing cocaine in lunch boxes, keeping $180,000 in cash and a 9mm gun in a stash house diagonally across the street. All the indications are that this was a very high-level narcotics trafficking operation. Five years later, a child at Little Inventor's Daycare was passing around crack vials. One little girl ate some of the drug before she spit it out. Looked like rocks or pebbles. The previous incidents did not involve a child dying. Fentanyl has changed the game. A morsel can be lethal. A study published this year by the journal Pediatrics showed 731 children under age 5 were fatally poisoned by fentanyl between 2005 and 2018, often at home. And in a city where working parents rely on daycare so they can pay their bills, what happened at Divino Nino is alarming. These traffickers will go to any extent and by all means necessary to move their poison. This is a half a trillion dollar year business and they're motivated by greed. The fact that two kilo presses were found, one in the daycare's hallway and another in a rented room, suggests this was much more than a street dealing operation. So I would say that somebody that's pressing powder into kilo form is involved in what we call wholesale distribution. Mary Murphy, News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.